Good Morning Hot Dogs, Spirit Week, IV Day, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This week is Spirit Week, so don't forget to dress up and show your school spirit. Tomorrow's theme is Pajama Day, and the rest of the themes for this week will be posted in the chatter. Remember that Ivy Tech is having their Ivy Day on September 23rd from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Seniors, you have the opportunity to earn a three-credit hour scholarship. That's something I wouldn't want to miss out on if I were you. There will be a sad call-out meeting this Wednesday on September 21st. If you have any questions or concerns, please email Ms. Kramer. Now, we'll send it off to sports and weather. What's up, dogs? The dogs are hot, going nine straight games without, lo without a loss, with the Frankfurt boys soccer team beating the second best team in state for Class 1A soccer, Faith Christian. Scoring in the first three minutes of play, Manuel got the hot dogs off to a great start. However, the Eagles of Faith Christian tied it up only 10 minutes later. With only nine minutes left in the half, Manuel find, found Castro with a great ball, and Alex Castro made a great finish for a go-ahead goal before the half. The Hot Dogs gained a two-goal lead early in the second half with an assist from Gil Hernandez and the finish by Alex Castro for his second of the game. Faith Christian got another goal keeping it close, but with some key saves by Jose Campos, with with the composure of the defense and hard work of the middle infield, and Frankfurt kept the one goal lead until the final whistle. Frankfurt gave the Eagles their first L of the year. The Dogs are sitting 8-0-1. Next match is away against undefeated West Lafayette tomorrow. The game is at 7 p.m. and the cross country team went to New Prairie Invite on Saturday. The girls team placed 14th out of 31 teams. Top girl finisher were Alexis Reed Gill in, 30, in 41st place. The boys team placed 22nd out of 32 teams. Top boy finisher, Mario Lopez in 52nd place. And now to Cindy with your weather. Good morning, dogs. Happy homecoming week. Today we have a high of 81 degrees and a low of 56. As of right now, there's nothing unusual about today's weather and with another cloud day with a bit of wind. That's it for weather. Now back to Carlos for more sports. Thanks, Cindy. The Hot Dogs found some rhythm on the offense in a loss against a very talented Lebanon team. The, the Dogs threw for a, to, for a total of 202 yards and two touchdowns for all four starting receivers getting in the action. The offensive line also stepped up in a big way, only allowing four sacks and opening up big holes for the run, running game. The Hot Dogs had 93 total rushing yards and two touchdowns. Feed Nelson. The defense was great at getting to the right spots and struggled to make stops at critical moments. Lalo Castillo created the game's only turnover when he intercepted a pass. The special teams were once again led by Garrick Burge, Lalo Castillo, and Juan Ramos. Garrick and Lalo did a great job returning kickoffs, and Juan had some huge kickoffs to pin the Lebanon offense deep in their own territory. The JV continued to improve this week with Dennis Barkley rushing for over 100 yards and a touchdown. It is homecoming week for the Hot Dogs as we host Western Boone on Friday. Tomorrow, wear your pajamas. Now, back to your host. The Hot Dog Network is excited to introduce a new program titled Tradition of Excellence. The program will highlight a hot dog alumni and connect them with current students enrolled at FHS. We have a short clip from our first episode. What advice would you give yourself when you're 16 years old? I think one of the things, looking back, I would say be intentional about making sure that your actions align with your end goal. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have dreams, but if our actions don't align, they stay as dreams. They don't become goals. And sometimes there's a disconnect between where we want to be and what we're doing to get there. You know, sometimes things don't go as planned. If you're a planner and things don't go as planned, try to find the opportunity for growth, but not to beat yourself over something that didn't go as planned. Um, and that's still something that I'm trying to learn today. 
because sometimes you know out of your day you may do 10 things nine go really well one doesn't and and, and you have to be intentional about not focusing on that one thing mm -hmm. um, look at that and see see what could i've done better but then move on from that don't okay. don't let that continue to bother you and other other things moving forward all right well i'll take that advice into consideration for the complete first episode of Tradition of Excellence, you can find the link in today's hot dog chatter or visit YouTube channel's Tradition of Excellence playlist. And a special happy birthday goes out to Alfredo Soto Villa. And lunches, lunch today's lines one and two is hot dogs. Lines three, potato soup and salad bar. And lines four is barbecue sandwich. Addie, you ready for the pep rally Friday and to find out which teacher gets pied? Yeah, and I have a personal preference. But we'll get to that. That's all for today's today, dogs. Have a magnificent Monday. Make sure you subscribe and like. And turn on that notification bell. Have a great day, dogs. <laughs>